welcome to the data science class so in today's class we will talk about matrix and we will talk about uh, arrays so you are aware that uh, we represent two dimensional elements one in form of rows another in form of uh, columns where we are going to put the things in form vector with two dimensions vector with two dimensions yeah you are going to call that one as a matrix so now you can see here matrix is going to be a reserved word and the elements are 1 2 3 and 4 and the number of rows it was 2 and the number of columns was 2 so as you mentioned two rows here one and two will occur in first row three and four will occur in the second row so this is the first way of putting the matrix format second thing was uh, you are not mentioning the number of columns you are mentioning number of rows is equals to 2 so number of rows is equals to 2 therefore what happens was first two elements will be taken up you can identify the difference here so there is a mistake one second so we have this element number of rows is equals to 2 and number of columns is equals to 2 therefore it says 1 2 it is number of rows again 3 4 number of rows so the priority is going to be given to the number of rows so 1 2 3 4 is the value here so what it does is it moves this 1 2 to the first row and 3 4 to the next row so this is the model how matrix is going to occur next one we are going to have subscripts we are going to have subscripts or we are going to have some index we are going to have some subscripts or we are going to have some indexes there we are directly assigning the value 1 2 3 and 4 and putting the position so 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 uh 2 comma 2 so this is second row second column position so in this way we are going to organize the elements here and directly we are going to print the matrix so how you are going to do with matrix means we are going to have this uh, matrix as a reserved word and thereby we are going to do that content next one was we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 six number of uh, elements here in this six number of elements we say they should occupy in two rows and you are going to say by row is equals to true by row is equals to true so uh, by row is equals to true and you mentioned six element so 6 by 2 equal to 3 therefore it says 1 2 3 it will be put in the first row the remaining 4 5 6 aspects it is going to put in the next row so these are the different ways of creating the matrix in r so what we talked here was we have 1 2 3 4 4 elements here now you want to print this in two rows so first row first element second row first element then it goes with first row second element then it goes with second row second element in this model matrix is going to be operated now what are the linear algebraic operations which can be performed over matrix so the general linear algebra elements which are going to perform on matrix they will be matrix multiplication or they can be matrix addition or they can be matrix subtraction 
so these are the three basic operations for doing on matrix so now you can see at this point of time i have y y so y double percentage y so 1 2 1 2 and 4 followed by multiplication that is 1 3 2 4 so you are going to use two uh, subtraction a two percentage symbols here we are going to use two percentage symbols here thereby we will be getting this uh, value so that is what we call here as 7 15 10 22 in this way we are going to get the matrix operations the next thing was uh we can take a single element and then we can multiply with all the elements in the matrix we call such element as a scalar mod we call that element as scalar model so i am going to have this matrix and i multiply with 3 to each and every element we are going to multiply so that is where we will be getting the matrix as 3 6 9 and 12 and that model we are going to call it as scalar arithmetic the third point what we are going to do will be the yeah any problem sir other are you someone are in the lobby sir someone or in the lobby only two students are there in the lobby it doesn't show me any other content yeah she is she is there yeah so sesi are you able to hear my voice are you there are you able to hear the voice are you able to see the screen shashi sir yes sir yes sir yeah fine yeah fine fine so we were talking about the matrix operations in this matrix operation we talked about the linear algebraic content so in this linear algebraic content we were talking about matrix that is matrix addition matrix multiplication and scalar multiplication etc now there are some specific operations what we need to understand here so assume that there is a matrix called as z and having 1 1 1 2 1 0 3 0 1 4 0 0 0 so what was the position is it is 1 comma 1 it is 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 this one is 4 comma 1 uh 4 comma 2 and 4 comma 3 now we can work directly with indexing of a matrix we can work directly with indexing of a matrix so how you are going to do it means i am going to say i want 2 to 3 so you should understand here there is a choice there is a vacuum and we are going to put a comma here we are going to put a comma and this one you are representing column name so what actually was the representation was we are going to say row we are going to say it as column we are going to call it as row and we are going to call it as a column here so we are not considering the rows we need all the rows that's the reason why we put comma and we don't want first column we need only second column and third column therefore we are going to put two column three so obviously 1 1 0 0 it is going to be displayed followed by 1 0 1 0 it is going to be displayed only these two columns are going to be displayed first column is not going to be displayed so this is the advantage of what we are going to do with matrix indexing so this is the advantage now let us say that we have another matrix called as y it is having 11 12 21 22 31 32, 32, 32 occupying 1 1 1 2 2 1 2 2 3 1 now what we are going to do is i am going to make the elements i am going to see the elements of second 
and third rows so this is row 1 row 2 and row 3 there are three rows here now i just want only the elements of 2 to 3 and comma is there so column position is empty at this case only row position is going to happen here at the first case we don't have row position we have only column position now in the second case we are going to take only the row position therefore this subset 2 1 2 2 3 1 3 2 2 only these elements will be displayed so this was the second way of putting matrix indexing then comes the third way so what was the third way here was i am going to have the matrix called as 11 12 21 22 31 32 all the six elements are here then what we are going to do is we will make a uh, uh, two to three rows followed by second column followed by second column so this is second row second third row in this what are the second column so 22 and 32 so 22 and 32 are going to be displayed so this is how we are going to make the matrix indexing so what is the take away from this slide was we can do matrix multiplication the matrix multiplication you have to use two percentage symbols to do matrix multiplication that is the first key take away general addition you can go with plus operation there is no issues next comes the scalar value you can take a value you can multiply to each position next uh, operation was that we can make slicing we can make indexing how you are going to make slicing how you are going to make indexing was that you can have row and column number if you miss it it will take only the column number you can miss either row either column and you can bring those values next assigning values to sub matrix the next approach was that assigning values to sub matrix so how you can do it so let us say we have the matrix called as y and y is having 11 12 21 22 31 32 32 so these are the uh, elements at this point of time now you can uh, now you can present at this point of time uh, uh, y 2 to 3 comma x so we need second row that is second and third row we need these two elements second row and third row so obviously we will be getting 21 22 31 32 this is what we brought next element y of 2 to 3 and 2 so what we are going to do is here this position we call it as column position so print second row and third row second column values so what are the second column values means i am going to get 22 and 32 so 22 and 32 we are going to display so this is the first option that is extracting row instead of column model now coming to this part assigning values to sub matrix now let us say that we are going to have the result word matrix and it is having number of rows number of columns and then we have another matrix which we are going to call it as uh, uh, y so where we get this 4 5 and 2 and 3 so it displays 4 and 5 two rows because you mentioned number of two rows then it displays four and five so now matrix is ready to work now what is the point here the point here was that you are going to say 2 to 3 comma 2 to 3 you move this with y that means the second row to third row and second um, column to third column it is going to be moved with the values of y it is going to be moved with the values of y but what exactly is y 
exact values were 4523 which is 1112222 but what you are going to do you are asking 223 and 223 where the values are not there so what you can do is you are going to put null values you are going to put not available or you are going to insert not applicable you are going to insert not available or you are going to insert not applicable values at this case because you don't have any other option you are asking for the values 2 3 and 2 3 and run time error should not come so as wherever the values are possible those values are given up here but the other values are going to be ignored the reason was that you have asked 2 2 3 2 2 3 but it is not at this point of time only 4 2 5 3 is going to available and that's the reason why we will be getting this not available values next one what will be the other operations on doing of matrix so one you say it is addition and deletion that too you can directly do it on number of rows and you can row it on number of columns so this was the prime way so when we are going to say this as a prime way here we are going to say let us see x is going to be a vector in this vector you are going to have 12 5 13 16 and 8 now you are going to insert a new value at the end you are going to insert a new value at the end called as 20 so we call such operation as appending so x it is 12 5 13 16 18 then what you have done you have done c c stands for concatenate c stands for concatenate the vector with the new element what was the new element it is 20 therefore 20 element will be inserted at the end so this is how you are going to make an element insertion next one you can see here Uh, we made a vector with a concatenated operation i am having 1 2 3 positions so x of 1 2 3 so 1 2 3 i am going to have uh, 12 5 13 16 8 8 and 20 now what i am going to get 1 2 3 positions only so 1 2 3 positions is 1 2 and 5 so 1 2 and 5 are going to be taken then we are going to put the values so i'm sorry here one is the position value so 2 5 and 13 so i will write it again so 12 5 13 16 8 8 and 20 are the elements now what you are going to do you are going to tell pick the values of 1 2 3 so the values of 1 2 3 are 12 5 and 13 then what you are going to do you are going to make 20 as an insert so new entry you are going to directly add it after that you are going to say 16 8 and 20 so what we call here as this is adding between numbers adding between numbers you are going to uh, have this value 20 here next one so i am going to have the values 12 5 13 20 16 8 and 20 now what i am going to do is i am going to say x of minus 2 2 minus 4 i want to delete the item so how i am going to delete the item means so i don't want the second number i don't want the fourth fourth number so that's the reason why i call it as minus 2 2 Minus four. So obviously two, five, and thirteen. Uh, uh, sorry, twelve, um, uh, five, and thirteen should not be there. So twelve, five, and thirteen should not be there. Sorry, I will. I will write again. I am just.
so the list it is 12 5 13 20 16 8 and 20 now what i am going to do this is x and x i am going to say x is equals to some x minus 2 to minus 4 x minus 2 to minus 4 so obviously remove the second element remove the third element remove the fourth element so we call this operation as deleting operation we call the previous operation as deleting the operation so from 2 to 4 we have to go for deletion so when it is going to be for deletion automatically the next elements will be 12 followed by 16 8 and 20 so this is how we are bringing up 12 16 8 and 20 these items they are going to be the existing elements next one let us see there is a matrix a scalar value with 1 1 1 1 and let us say there is uh, another matrix called as z with these elements 1 1 1 2 1 1 3 0 1 and 4 0 1 now what you are going to do was now what you are going to uh, do is you are going to make column binding you are going to make c bind so c bind stands for column binding so you have this values you have these uh, values here that is 1 1 1 followed by 1 1 1 followed by 2 1 1 3 0 1 and 4 0 1 so these are the previous values now 1 1 1 1 is going to be brought here so you can see give me a second I, uh, again there is an error So we have this values 1, 1, 1, 1 followed by Z. It is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 3, 0, 1, 4, 0, 0. So how you are going to put this means uh, column binding of 1, 0. So it is what we are going to say. We should have rows and columns to the matrix. So where have these been so any guess first column is brought at this point so one 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 is going to be brought here one 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 is brought here then the values 1 2 3 4 are brought here it is 1 1 1 2 0 1 301400 so holistically what happens you will have all these elements so this is the value you can have z and 1111 directly you are going to have this one we call it as one so addition and deletion of the matrix the next word you can see here was matrix with elements 1 to 8 and the number of rows are 4 here. Elements with matrix 1 to 8 and the number of rows are going to be 4. So how you are going to do it? You are going to say 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 rows. Repeat the next 4 items, 5, 6, 7, 8. So that is how you got this element. Next word. You are going to use the function. So to find the length of the matrix, so you will be getting this length and it is given as 8. Now you want to display what type of matrix it is. So it prints the object class or object class. So that is what you are going to say class of Z, you will be getting the attributes. Then if you are going to take the number of dimensions, if you are going to have number of dimensions, it says number of 4 and 2, it is going to say columns, 2 columns and number of rows is 4 and 2, it is getting this number of rows and number of 
columns so this is what you are going to call here as dimension of j so it says number of rows is j so it displays four number of columns of j it is displaying two so this is how you are going to bring vector and matrix distinction the next interesting part was can we give name to the matrix rows and columns so for that what we are going to do so can we give some names instead to the numbers can we give some names so how is it possible here let us say there is a matrix which is 1 2 3 4 here and now you are giving call names column names here with a and b now you are going to give column names with a and b so what will happen here was that now you can see here z it is given as a b c d 1 3 2 4 column names of z so column names of z you have given it as a and b now if you are going to say z nothing at the first position and then if you are going to bring a so obviously you are asking the elements of the first column the elements of the first column so elements of print elements of first column so print elements of first column here so what was the first column it is 1 2 here so that is the reason why 1 and 2 are going to be displayed so this is the advantage where you are going to use naming of the content where you are going to use naming of the content here next word i just want to make repetitions of the same content again and again so is it possible yes it is going to be possible with a data type called as arrays so i have a matrix and it can't be repeated but if i want the same matrix to be repeated for multiple times then i am going to use a word called as an array here so how i am going to do this means i am going to take this as first test i am going to take it as second test so i have two matrices with 46 30 21 25 50 50 then 46 43 41 35 50 and 50 so how you are going to display it means i take this array and i am going to define this with the data first element second element then i am going to write 3 2 2 so this is number of rows is equals to 3 columns is equals to 2 and this to repeat for two times repeat for two times it is going to give repeat the option for two times so first it is displaying in this model next it is repeating in this model so that is what we are going to call it as naming matrix and rows and columns so what we have learned for now so we have started learning with matrix so in this matrix how did we get off means we were telling matrix is going to be taken up with a reserved word called as matrix it is going to have number of rows number of columns so row item will be prioritized first followed by column similarly we can take up the position of a matrix and give the values into it so this is the second way of representing the things third way was that i am going to have a matrix and thereby i have elements and if i am going to say by row is equals to true and number of rows is equals to 2 so first it takes up all the elements in the first row thereby it goes in the second row but in the other issue it is different next one what will be the matrix operations in general we have mathematics operations such as addition direct addition then we have a scalar addition then we have a scalar multiplication and matrix multiplication so how we are going to do matrix multiplication in our language means that too when we are going to do with linear algebra so we are going to use double percentages instead of asterisk instead of asterisk we will use double percentages between two matrix elements this is how you are going to do linear algebraic matrix multiplication next one how can i subset the 
index in a matrix so subsetting of an index in the matrix will happen with the column number that is 2 2 3 here 2 colon 3 so i am ignoring the first uh, the rows i am taking only the second column and third column so 1 2 3 4 is going to be the first column which is ignored 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 0 only these two elements will be taken up that is second row second column and third column that's how we are going to get this column value next word how can we assign values to this content so here you can uh, have the matrix the second to third second to third uh, values uh, but remaining uh, i am going to have null values because you have calculated only 2 to 3 and 2 to 3 but remaining you didn't define but the remaining positions it is going to be occupied with null value and whatever values you have recommended those values are going to be filled next thing how can we make an addition and deletion of matrix rows and columns so here we are going to have a vector with this single uh, unidimensional matrix or a vector 12 5 13 16 and 8 then you started to add and insert 20 at the end so we got this next one how can i make this at the middle of a value how can you go with inserting the middle of a value so you can take first three elements then you put the element what we want to add then we can put the remaining list so this is the inserting at the middle then how can i make a delete operation in order to make a delete operation you can put from which positions to which position you want to subtract with the subtraction symbol here so that is how we are going to make the uh, deleting operation for a matrix similarly what are the other functions to, to operate on this matrix means you can have a length function to compute the length of a matrix you can have a class function to know what was the object name that is attributes of uh, x so it belongs to the property called as matrix and then if you can have dim dimensions of the map of the data type so it says it has four rows and two columns that is what we call it as dimension specifically if you want to have number of rows then we will be using number of rows function specifically if you want to have number of columns then it says number of column function here so this is how we are going to put the elements and i want the matrix to be repeated for multiple times which is not possible so we will be using the array matrix we will be using the arrays here so 3 comma 2 with 2 so elements will be repeated for two times so first it will indicate row second it will indicate column and then it is going to indicate how many number of times this matrix has to be repeated so it goes in this way so these are all the different types of arrays and matrix operations what we learned for today so in the next class uh, we will take up uh, the lists so in the next class maybe tomorrow we will take up the list so we will end the class for today